In this video, you'll learn how to build a simple validation rule using the autocomplete rules editor. This is to get you familiar with the navigational elements of the editor and to learn how to handle variables and functions. You'll create a rule that validates the effective date section in the when and why region. The rule will validate that the date is not in the past. I'm signed in as an implementer. The yellow toolbar at the top of the page indicates that I'm already in a sandbox. To navigate to the Autocomplete Rules Editor, click the Tools menu on the yellow toolbar and select HCM Experience Design Studio. On the Autocomplete Rules tab, select the When and Why Business object. Then, we'll add an Object Validation Rule. Then, you come to the Edit Rule page. Enter a name for the rule. Notice that the Active checkbox is selected by default. The rule will trigger only if it is active. A new rule will automatically have a string variable in the rule logic section. You'll add a condition block after it to conditionally validate the rule. Then select the delete else block option. In this demonstration, we don't need an else section as part of our condition. Delete the default string variable as you don't need it for this rule. Click the equal to operator and change it to less than. Then click the XYZ icon to the right of the less than operator and select change to a function. It changes to a function for today's date. Click the down arrow next to the string variable and select Add Next, Add Error Message. Now enter the error message text you want to display. Delete the variable. The rule is done. It will trigger an error message if a user enters a past date in a when and why section. Click Save and Close. To test the rule, go to the transfer page for an employee. Here, we change the transfer start date to a date in the past and click Continue. And you see that the validation rule is triggered. For more information on this topic, you can view the courses on Oracle University or reference the available guides on the Oracle Help Center. Thanks for watching.